Wie nicht? Wie nicht, wie nicht, wie nicht. Wie nicht. Uh, tell us, tell us about your experiences in Goa with music in particular. I know it's a broad subject, but uh, we were talking informally now and you made some comments about how challenging it can be, which is a fact. Yeah, I think uh, the key is for music into Goa to grow is to firstly, uh, people need to be open and so what we were trying to do is just create an awareness of different kinds of music, not only the you know the standard pop and rock not even pop and rock you know retro and that because that's fine you know most of the people enjoy that but to basically create a whole the, the other thing which is happening around the country around the world to expose goa to that you've done a lot how many years how many concerts we've done about what it's been now about 12 years we've done about 1000 plus concerts wow. yeah we've done about 15 festivals and uh, it's been tough it's been tough and also for for, for the first 5 6 years or more than that all concerts were free and of course it brings in the people but the economics don't work because there is I no know. for the commercial scene there are sponsors I know we'll come to that later I know for I know I know how you feel that people are not valuing it yes. but but we'll come to that later the yeah. only question is uh, tell us about the concerts because they were pretty ambitious no yeah yeah so basically we were introducing Goa to like from the fact of when we used to run Artscape we we brought in one is the whole folk festival over here with Bangla Natak so bringing in the whole folk music scene we brought in the Sufi Kawali festival brought in world music we were doing regularly five years revival of Indian classical music. Uh, people were open? People were open. But again, for Indian classical music, it was more of the foreigners. Very few local people except, you know, okay, Margao and all where there is an, uh, that kind of crowd coming in. But majority were the foreigners who came in. Other kind of concerts, of course, when you do a rock and roll night, it's, of course, locals and everyone who comes in because they connect with that kind of a music. Uh, of course, jazz also to a great extent. Yeah, when you do standard jazz, it works. But we were doing a lot of experimental jazz. How are your tastes so eclectic and broad? Oh, uh, I think it's just uh, because come from a creative background. Yeah, so I'm an architect, planner, designer, and and we've been exposed to all this, you know, in design school. Where? So in Bombay. So we were introduced to yeah, music, theater, dance, films, and basically saying that you know this is part of architecture at the end of the day. So we were exposed to all these things, which is where, uh, you know. Uh, so in, in, in design school also we, we we used to have a band which one of the topmost band you had pentagram zero and all these guys so we were just connected with that entire kind of a vibe yeah. and exposure basically I think the and exposure happened you got caught up with it more than you caught than you did with your architecture uh, you did no. with too? sorry music means no more? no 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 so no. architecture yeah I ran design studios yeah. okay. I ran I ran uh, yeah made I ran de facto for donkey years worked with the corporates got tired of that I entire see. scene and then that's where we decided to start Artscape as a uh, art space as an art community. So this important point of viability, huh. what were you saying? So the viability is is uh, there needs to be more support from people. One is uh, one is buying tickets. If there is a concert, then let's not keep it a free concert. Let people support it by buying. You need patrons to come on board to support it. Sponsors support only the mainstream. They don't support in terms of the audience we're yeah. doing. Uh, so the key is that dependency, the pe if, if this has to survive, then the people have to start paying and understand the value of what is happening at the end of the day and what goes behind the scene. Because no one understand what goes behind the scene. There's a lot of work, lot of expenses, lot of... Lot of expenses. Also from a small concert to a big concert, to a festival, it's madness in terms of uh, the amount of expenses which go in. You know, flight tickets for international artists to come in, yeah. stay, they have fees all invisible and yeah. then light sound you're getting the best sound to come in it has to be perfect it has to be perfect you can't and that we don't compromise on. what was the scale of your concerts so if you look at the festival the jazz festival became one of the biggest festivals in the country I see. so yeah it moved on to that in the third year where we brought in 15 bands from 15 countries it was a three-day festival we had a market we had a we had two stages we had workshops where we had the true school of music who came in we did music education workshops everything but yeah, but was we had a sponsor on board which one week before the festival they backed up oh, and we were in a mess and only f very close friends of ours supported it and that's how it happened and uh, this this carried on for how many years the jazz festival so the jazz festival right now we ran it for four years okay. and after that uh, we had to bring in uh, another partner because we had a lot of losses which we had to pay off so teamworks came in so the festival is right now about eight years but last three years we haven't done the festival and plans for the future? Yeah, plans is there. So we're working on our the live music project, a live festival, so which is uh, which is what we're booking right now, which is basically bringing in all the art forms, not only music. So basically everything which is live. Of course, we are in Benoli, which is a scenic place, but behind the scenic place is 
we also have the challenges so challenges of uh, being viable and all that yes. any regrets for being in goa no no absolutely not what would money. you like to change here uh, to actually something actually yeah nothing yeah like in terms of of course one needs to be more sensitive towards the environment with the kind of development happening it is a disaster what's happening for sure that is speaking as an architect yeah people have to be conscious about uh, you know growing your own plants stop stop if there are so many old houses let's let's start basically you know renovating it rather than trying to build and more and let's avoid using concrete and cement and that's that's disaster also and going for and we go for local materials we use uh, wood construction we use cob architecture uh, rammed earth uh, so basically you just look at as much as possible to recycle things and use the tradi and get into understanding traditional uh, architecture and as well as traditional construction methods that's the way for otherwise we are finished completely No, but apart from that, on the music scene, what changes would you like to see? See, music scene, I think more than anything, I think the key is that uh, Goa is still still not completely open to uh, to the new things which yeah. is happening around globally. You know? Yeah, you know, it is it's still that, and there is a huge divide between north and south. Not there is still openness also because of the fact there is a lot more amount of settlers who have come in foreigners and for and of course foreigners, foreigners over here also are open to it. locals i think it's high time uh, uh, need to there is i think now with technology there is a lot of exposure happening so i think there is an openness which is there it just has to be taken to the next level music That's as it. a career is it possible absolutely in today's time i think it's a great profession uh, it is the amount of opportunity one has is incredible Uh, even for youngsters even for some absolutely for youngsters like where starting so basically if you look at uh, from a musician who may be a guitar player or a singer so one can start in terms of just firstly you have to promote yourself secondly you play with bands you play with gigs do sessions you start teaching uh, there is a lot of uh, advertising work which is there there is a lot of uh, sessions work which is there but you have to at the end of the day you make have it viral make it no and you have to promote yourself those days are gone when you have a manager and you have because everything is on your fingertips you have instagram you have facebook it's about pushing yourself out that's very interesting thanks so much vinesh thanks all the very much. best vinesh uh, sunny thank, thank you so much thanks sir